Okay, good morning everyone. Um, yes, it's the IBM ThinkPad again. But a bit different than it was yesterday. Just hang on. Uh, my friend, the Maritime Man, called around last night. And uh, helped me out putting... Uh, a much better version of an operating system on here. It's got uh, Linux Mint 17.3 now. And it's use it's usable. I can uh, surf the web and I can uh, watch YouTube. Collect my email. Send my email. So to me that's a usable computer. I don't play games or anything like that. No, uh, nothing like that. So uh, thanks to uh, Trent the Maritime Man. For uh, being so quick after I asked him um, his help, he was here uh, the very same night with the um, with the means to sort the computer out. And they also had a good look at my uh, JVC camcorder, the one that um, appeared in uh, Back to the Future. Is it a GRC1 or something? He's always been interested in that camp card and I didn't realise just how interested he was uh, until last night. Anyway, he's going to borrow that next time he's here and he'll make a a detailed some I'm assuming it's a detailed video all about it. He has already put a video up and uh, I will put a link to that uh in the info in the uh info section of this video uh me thinks this hard drive is quite slow but i am used to an ssd in my other computer so you know when you go back to all spinning hard disks you certainly notice the difference um Yeah, come on. Ah, there we go. It was worth waiting for. So as you can see, now Linux Mint 17.3. Once it's loaded and booted up, it works great. And um, I connected up with the Wi-Fi, actually. I was going to use the Ethernet connection, but I used the Wi-Fi last night. And I notice it's got 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi on it as well as 2.4. Which was quite uh, quite a surprise. It's a laptop from 2006. Has a uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless. I mean it's not very, it's not particularly fast wireless. But it operates on the 5 gigahertz band. So you get more speed than a lot more speed than you would do on the 2.4. I think when I gave it a quick test last night, I was getting about 16 meg down and a bit more upload from it. If I would have plugged it in via the uh, Ethernet, of course, I would have got 130 down and 60 up because that's what we uh, that's what we get our everyday speed here. But uh, quite usable. The actual Wi-Fi on it is perfectly usable. So there it is, my lovely Mint ThinkPad, uh, brought back to life by the Maritime Man. Well, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed supper, because we uh, we fired up our new barbecue last night, and he was the uh, guinea pig of uh, its first um, burgers and sausages. <laughs> oh, you can see it better now the sun's gone in. Look at that. Not a mark on her. Not a mark. She's mint. I don't know what it is about these things, but they're kind of awe-inspiring. You know, apart from those Panasonic Tough Books, they don't really make laptops to this standard of engineering anymore. And the Panasonic Tough Book is, of course, meant to suit specific markets like military and, and outdoor-type things, people who... who need to take a laptop outdoors in the rain and the snow and things like that 
so you can't really compare the two. But you don't get laptops that are uh, engineered to this class anymore. Even very, very expensive gaming laptops are still slabs of plastic, I'm afraid. That's what it boils down to. Anyway, thanks be to the Maritime Man for bringing my computer back to life. I will see you next time. Bye.